If you're an agency or a freelancer, then you probably already know that having a website is extremely important in your line of work. You need to be able to showcase what you've done so far, provide social proof, show why people should work with you, as well as what exactly it is that you do. So since I've been doing agency and freelance work for over 10 years at this point, I wanted to create a website template for anyone else who's in my position, whether you're getting started or you have a business that's already up and going, that you could very easily take and just make your own. So this is Click. It's a website website template for Framer, which is probably my favorite website builder that's out right now. It's very easy to use. And in this video, what I want to do is just give you a quick walkthrough of how you can take this website template and make it your own. So right now we are in the builder view on Framer. This is basically your control panel where you're going to be able to select all the different layers, be able to see the different breakpoints for your website, as well as edit all these different sections that you see here. So for example, if I wanted to start by just changing the text that you see on the screen, I can select this layer in the hero right here. And on the right hand side, you can see this little part that says content. From here, I can go ahead and type in something completely different, hit enter, and it will automatically update on my preview. Now there are some other elements here that we can go over to. All of these buttons allow you to customize the link that you are sending people too. So I've clicked on this get started button right here and right here on the side you can see that there's another section that says link. Right now it links to a specific section of the home page so that whenever people land on this page it can just go straight to the pricing section and hopefully you can convert a sale. Now what I've also done is left another button here that simply takes them from this section down to the essentially introduction of your brand and what you're doing. So again, if you wanna change those links or even change what these buttons say, you can do that all on the right-hand sidebar. This part that you see right here is actually a floating nav that I created. I wanted to make it something just a little bit fancier, something that sticks out a little bit from having just a nav bar at the very top. So whenever you scroll down, it appears. All of these buttons right here are connected to different sections on the website. So you can go ahead and click them and jump straight to where you wanna go. And when it comes to editing these logos right here, this is what we call a ticker in Framer. It's one of the components that allows you to set it up so that you basically just have this ticker animation of everything rotating and fading in and out. So if you want to change any of the logos, all of them are here on the right. As you can see, they are all connected to the ticker. That's why you see these little lines. So all that you need to do is go over to the sidebar and click on fill where it says image, and then you can go ahead and choose your own image to replace it with. Moving on down to the next section, this is a little portfolio section where you can either Either display design work that you have if you're a design studio or a freelancer or if you are an agency that maybe does Google ads or marketing you can showcase your own individual images here again all you need to do is just click on these components double click on them and then you can go straight to choosing a different image to replace it with so scrolling on down all these sections right here where you see these icons you can change the colors of these by simply clicking on them and going over to the right side where it says color that way you can change everything to fit your brand now if you want to change any of the color at all on this website, you're more than welcome to. All that you need to do is just select the respective layer that has the color. Again, go over to the right hand side where it says fill and you have a couple of different options. You can either select a solid color, you can go to a gradient, you can do a radial gradient, you can do whatever you wanna do here in order to make it your own. As far as changing the actual fonts go, let's say that your brand has a different font than what you see here. What we can do to change all of that is you can go over to the assets section of the sidebar, and then these are all the settings that I have set up for the typography on this website. So if I wanna change all of the fonts for, let's say heading two, which is what this section is right here, all that I need do is just click into this menu and I can go ahead and change it and as you can see that changes it for all of the heading twos on the website now the way that this website is set up right now is basically for a productized service agency this is extremely popular right now and I would highly recommend looking into that business model if you haven't already it is what our agency has adopted and has actually been very effective in how we do business so that's what this section is right here if you don't want to use it for that you can switch it to anything else that you want and then this little section right here is something that I left where you can describe to your visitors what the tools are that you are going to be using during the process of working with them. Right here, we have a nice section where you can display more of your portfolio. Again, all of this stuff is connected to these images over on the left-hand side. So if I were to update this image, for example, over here, all that I need to do is just click over here, try a new image, and it automatically replaces it. Going down even more, this is the section where you can describe what your specific services are. You can have as many or as few as you want. Now, in order to change one of these and the icons, all you need to do is just click on this service pill, and then on the right-hand 
side, you will have a menu of all the different icons that you can use. This is specifically pulling from the Phosphor Icons library. And then of course, right here, you can change what the text says on that specific pill. Going down further, we have your social proof, which is extremely important for everybody to have on their website. These are all just placeholder testimonials that I've left here, but what you can do is, like I've said before, replace the logo by clicking on this, going over to the right hand side, selecting image and choosing your own, and then just click on the text here in order to update it. And whenever you do that, it's not only going to update what you see on the desktop version, but it's also gonna update what you see on the mobile version. And that goes for really all the sections that you see on the website. Going down further, again, this is built specifically for a productized service business. So what you see here are what we would call the member benefits. So essentially what people get from signing up to work with you. But you can update this section however you want. Moving down to probably one of the most important parts of the website, the pricing section. All of these buttons are currently hooked up to different websites, but I would recommend as soon as you get the template, go ahead and update it with your payment options or whatever workflow you're using in order to onboard clients. So for this example, I have it connected to Stripe so that they can make a payment. And then when we receive the payment, we automatically create a new Trello board for them and that is sent to them via email. If you offer the ability for people to have an intro call with you before they commit to working with you, that's where this can go. I would recommend connecting this to something like Calendly or some other type of booking app. Below that, I just wanted to give you some more opportunities to be able to showcase your work. Again, these are all images that you can easily replace. Your FAQ section is down here. All that you need to do is just click on one of these and on the right-hand sidebar is where you can update all of them. And then below is your final CTA with a button and some more logos that you can show off. And as I'm sure you can see just from going through this, I've already set up all the animations, so you don't even need to worry about that Part either. All of that extra flair is already included in this template. Again, I'm a huge fan of Framer and I think that you'll find it really, really easy editing your website using their platform. Anyway, I hope that you enjoy the template and until next time, I'll see you next time.